Okay, so the about. bloodline. Yes. There Organized, are... professional. <laughs> so the bloodline's down to Roman, Solo, Paul, and then Jimmy's around, but, you mm. know... Um, so it does kind of feel like maybe they could do something to strengthen the bloodline up again so that it's that it's at its peak again where it's this dominant mm-hmm. force. Like if you think about when the like the peak of the bloodline angle was yeah. basically 11 months ago at Survivor Series in the War Games where it was the the four of them, the Uso, mm-hmm. Solo, Roman. They also had Sammy as the honorary Uso and that mm-hmm. was at its peak. We're like five months deep into Triple H's WWE and it's it's going like everything's improved. The ratings are up, attendance is up and all this good stuff is happening. Um, but it feels like because they've leaned so heavily on the inner turmoil within the bloodline for the last year, mm-hmm. uh, and it really has been a year that this drama has been the main story in WWE, more which, is really, yeah. which is really impressive. Like, how many other year-long stories has WWE done in the last 25 years? Like the only other one I can really remember is Macho Man Hogan was a year mm-hmm. from four to five. WrestleMania Rock four to Cena. Five. Rock Cena, but Rock was gone for like eight Most months of out of yeah. that year. Yeah. So so anyway, this is you ha- I don't think it can be argued that Bloodline is at least one of the most successful storylines in WWE history, if not the most successful storyline in WWE history, in the way that they have made so much money while they are yeah. on this run, right? Like they they are more financially successful now than they ever have been before. So you can Roman make the had case. The Bloodline cured cancer. They did. That you know was I mean? like very helpful for the rest of society. Yeah. Yeah, Roman was a full-time wrestler when this started. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so like obviously, the storyline's gone very well. But does it need something new to freshen it up right now? Because I think most people would agree, it's it's past its peak, right? Like it's it's not as big of a deal or as entertaining as it was at this time last year. So. There's a couple of, well, there's Lance Anawaii Mm -hmm. recently received his release from Major League Wrestling um, after requesting it. So Mm -hmm. the rumor is, uh, and his Samoan SWAT team tag team partner, Juicy Mm -hmm. Finau. Now, I don't think Juicy Finau is actually in the bloodline, Mm -hmm. um, but, you know. (laughs) <laughs> that doesn't really matter. Um, <laughs> Neither was Sammy, and that worked out okay. Yeah, exactly. But Lance Anawaii, this is a guy who's been around for a long time. Like, he is, like, he's been a pro for a while. Mm-hmm. He's done dark matches. He's done squash matches. I think he did some stuff on 205 Live as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so, like, he's been around. They've had a luck at him. He's not going to be a gigantic star, but he can wrestle good. And he's... <laughs> He's, he done wrestle real good. He done wrestle real <laughs> nice, like yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know why I suddenly uh, transported to the Sportatorium in 1983, but uh, but yeah. So like the rumor is like, okay, this guy just got released. Is he possibly coming in to be a new Bloodline member? Are we going to see new Bloodline members soon? I would really hope so, and not because yeah. I feel like the quality of the Bloodline. Um, uh, storyline has been lacking or whatever. Um, I found that the bloodline was at their best when they had the numbers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like solo and Roman and Paul being the bloodline. Mm-hmm. That's not as scary as like Roman Reigns and Jimmy and Jay Uso and solo Sokoa. You know what I mean? Like that's a yeah. scary group of individuals yeah. And it allows you to tell also multiple stories with them. You can have Jay and Jimmy in their tag feuds, and you can have Roman doing his thing. You can even have Solo doing a, a feud with someone if you want, you know. And that makes the bloodline seem bigger as well. It's kind of like, you know, the NWO arguably went a little too far, <laughs> but it it needed to grow from the original three for it to yes. really become a thing. Mm-hmm. And that's evidenced by the fact that when they came to WWE and it was just the three of them, it wasn't scary. Mm-hmm. It wasn't intimidating. It was just three dudes, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin could take on three dudes in his sleep, you know, and like 
it just it wasn't as impressive. And I think the bloodline, while far better than that version of the NWO, uh, <laughs> could use that shot in the arm, both just from a freshening up standpoint and from a like, hey, we're scary kind of thing, you know? Yeah, that's actually kind of what I thought, too, is this whole idea that they don't seem like an intimidating group anymore because it's uh, just Roman and two guys who don't really trust each other, you know? So Roman it feels more and, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it feels more like they are Roman on Roman's entourage right now, as opposed to being a faction uh, where the Usos are winning tag titles and 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 mm -hmm. and Roman cannot be on the show and you still have a whole bloodline angle that yeah. takes place. Um, that's not what it is anymore. So. Yeah, and adding new members, I think, could really freshen it up. The problem with adding new members is they have to be at least loosely related to the family, and they have to be oh. like you free from any contracts to bring in. The other so, option is Jacob Fatu, but he's still under contract to MLW, mm -hmm. and as far as I know, they can't get him. Didn't right he now. do an NXT thing too? Jacob Fatu? Yeah. No, I want to say he so. was in NXT for a minute, but like, but anyways, yeah. um, so I guess it's more of a question than, than anything else, but we all nodded and went along with the fact that Undertaker and Kane are brothers, <laughs> yeah. you know, like we all know that, uh, uh, wrestling's families aren't necessarily wrestling's real families. Mm -hmm. So I don't see why they couldn't just say he's part of the family or, or even just like not really acknowledge it. I like uh, as, and maybe this is crass to say, but you know, it's like, as long as he's Samoan, he kind of looks like he's in the family, you know, but well, I mean, case in point, the rock is technically not in the family. Like the Maivias <laughs> are not related by blood, but rock yeah. will refer to Roman Reigns as his cousin. Roman Reigns will refer to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so, and then there's other people that they do that with a little bit. And like what of Tamina and what of Tamina, what of uh, Simone Johnson or mm -hmm. Ava in mm -hmm. uh, WWE. Uh, uh, her and Paul Jax. Heyman having a, a chat. At yep. that, uh, com was, that was an interesting thing to see. That was I a like very that. interesting new thing to see. I wish that it had, it would have been followed <laughs> up on. I am assuming that will happen at some point. Uh, for those that missed it, on that big NXT that they did where they brought in Cena and Undertaker, uh, Paul Heyman was on that show. I think they show. called it the F.U. Tony Khan episode. Yeah, yeah. Because it was up against <laughs> AEW that night, too. Um, so there was just the scene where Paul Heyman is talking to Simone Johnson. We're not privy to what's being said. And so the mm -hmm. idea is here, like, okay, she could be in the bloodline. Um, technically not related by blood, but that's fine. She mm -hmm. could be in the bloodline. Nia Jax could be in the bloodline. Tamina could be in the bloodline. Because, mm -hmm. uh, the you know, Tamina's not technically in the family, but close enough, you know? Yep. Um, so so you could use them. Uh, also, well, like, Rock Haku, bought her a house. Like, she's in the family. Yeah, well, Rock bought a truck for Haku. So, yeah. like, Haku is kind of in the mix, too. He also did so, that for Harvey Whippleman, though. So Yeah, so anyone related <laughs> to Harvey Whippleman? Is now, in the bloodline? is now in the bloodline. The Whippleman family is part of the bloodline. So it's Fatu and Hawaii and Whippleman. Yeah. Trinity. Uh, Trinity. There She's you go. in by marriage. Well, well, Trinity's yeah. in by marriage. So that would, that would work. Mm -hmm. um, they could do a whole female bloodline. Mm. They should do that. Why would they not do that? They don't, they're not doing anything with Tamina right now. I think that uh, WWE has unfortunately taken a few steps back when it comes to their positioning of women's wrestling as of yeah. late. So I don't know. I'm hoping it'll come back because, you know, Triple H in NXT that, made that's the what women I was say. a featured piece. So yeah. I'm hoping it'll come back maybe once they the, the dust is settled a little bit. But mm -hmm. right now it's, it's a little, it's a little bleak. Not that there it, isn't talent there, but it it'll come back. Like uh like yeah, it's it's triple H. He's gonna put an emphasis on it. I don't think we have to worry about women's wrestling in WWE. Mm -hmm. All other promotions, yes. But WWE, yeah, I think it, it it's gonna be pretty pretty safe in.